my favorite Instagram podcasts at Twitch.tv Twitch. 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 You gotta get on YouTube too. Well, Twitch is our main source, but you can see us everywhere on YouTube. You Some can of see the replays us. will be on YouTube, but the Twitch, the Twitch Live, over a million viewers. A million broke. viewers this week on this Radio Row for the first time ever. Whoa, Twitch, whoa, whoa. Twitch put us on their main page this week as the first sports show on that platform. And so it blew up this week a million viewers on Twitch this Amazing. week on Radio Row. We can thank the wow. Twitch enough for putting us on the front page and finally letting people find Tony yes, on absolutely. Twitch. Yes, absolutely. And now, so now it sounds like we're getting the new media thing worked out, yeah? Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah, the digital know. media is the future, as you know, Yes, Danny. yeah. Uh, again, the terrestrial radio is always going to be there. Although every day I see more radio stations getting rid of people. You know, just everybody's getting fired and they're consolidating. So, especially old guys like me, you're not that old. But the older generation of people. Thank you. Media, Thank you. Look you. Good, man. Thank you. you. Look good. I'm, I'm getting sorry. older, and you stay the same age every year. Robin looks great every year. She looks fantastic. But if you don't, if you don't, if you don't embrace digital you media, you better watch out. You're gonna lose a younger guy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I'm not a younger guy already? <laughs> I just look like That's the spirit. There you go. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. We do it every day. We have a studio in our in our wine cellar in Philadelphia. But we like to travel, so it looks good. You, know, you don't need a million dollars worth of equipment. We have great cameras. People think we're in an actual TV studio, but yeah. it's only our, our wine cellar. So you can watch us every day on Twitch TV, Tony Bruno Show, and we have a lot of fun. That's what that's the first and foremost, you have to have fun doing this. Shifting gears, Kobe Bryant, your thoughts. You know, as a Philly guy, Kobe Bryant, Lower Marion. I, I knew his dad, Joe Bryant, who played for the 76ers. So I go back before Kobe was even born. His dad, Joe Bryant, we used to call him Jelly Bean, was a great 76er basketball player. And little did he know, and anybody else know, that his son, Kobe, would become one of the all-time greats. Because Joe was good, Kobe is great. And so, growing up, Lower Marion, Kobe obviously was, had left a mark on Philly. You saw the memorials outside of the high school where he went. And then, of course, with the Lakers, where I lived there for 11 years, I was blessed to be there during the whole Kobe Bryant Shaq era when they won all those championships at Staples Center. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been an honor, and obviously the loss is still every single day. Yeah, I wake hurts. up and I say, how is it possible that Kobe Bryant is not with us anymore? I gotta ask you guys a question about how, uh, mutually, about bringing up the assault, which I thought was offensive myself. Oh, I mean, it was just, just so inappropriate. Yeah. Absolutely, a thousand percent inappropriate. You don't do that. Not with people, especially the family. And it's not just Kobe's family. I mean, it's all the people. Nine people lost their lives. Yeah. And a couple yeah. of reporters actually were suspended. And there's one, com there one comedian who put a really offensive tweet about Kobe Bryant. And and now he's been suspended. He, he lost his uh, his he agent. Dropped him. Was, she was reinstated two days ago. No, no. This is a comedian who does oh, comedy but I mean, in on Twitter. Yeah, the reporter was reinstated. Yeah. I, again, I don't think people should lose their job. I think they should be reminded that there are times to do things. Right. And you don't pull a three mo a three year old yeah. story hours after someone dies in a tragic right. helicopter crash. It's not like Kobe was a, a mass murderer. Year old, a seventeen year old story. Exactly. That was a no, but the story that there was a story written yeah, three years yeah, ago that, that was reposted. That. Right, and right, so, right. you know, if, if that's what you're going to resort to as a reporter on the day, because you don't know anything enough about Kobe Bryant, that you're going to go onto Wikipedia and see what he did wrong so that you can bring that back up. That's just, that's just to me, is callous. You have no sense of yeah. dignity or no right. sense of respect. And you know what, what I found more offensive is that when she was reinstated, she still made it about her and the editor. She didn't say anything else about Kobe. I was like, okay, so I was like, oh, so it's really about you, right? So it's like, you know, that was really horrible. Thank you. I had to, I had to hear some sanity. You know? It was just incredibly bad taste uh, and should never happen. I think, you know, people, a lot of people resort to clickbait yes. in situations like this, thinking yes. that they're going to get more hits. And it doesn't matter whether it's appropriate or not, as long as they get the clicks. And uh, I'm, I hope people will learn lessons like you just don't do that not when there's a huge tragedy like this and so many people are affected and people are mourning and what for me came out of it is Kobe Bryant has a venture capital firm called Brian Stiebel he's funded a lot of firms that we never even heard of and I didn't know and I was, I was thinking oh my god this is incredible and I saw him on CNBC and he killed it he sounded like a young Warren Buffett yeah. you know and I, I just started crying all over again because when people were saying he was on his way, and then I heard that, I thought, oh, now I get it. 
he has a great investment called Brian Seibel, folks. We're speaking of investment funds, invest in these folks. Yes. Give them your time. <laughs> Give yeah, them just follow. Eyeballs. Just go on Twitch.tv. Just follow us. You can subscribe if you want, but follow us, watch the show. And if it's you have free. Amazon Prime, by the way, Zenny, ah. you get it for free every month. Really? Yeah, so it doesn't, yeah. and you can watch so all the archives. You, on TV, then? you can Absolutely. watch us on every screen. Day. Every day, and we're nice. live one to four every day, and then you can watch it on replays. Oh, that's, that's great sweet. about digital. It's on yeah. demand. You can watch it anytime you want. I love it. I'll see you guys in there. All right, Zenny, good to see you.